Hey guys, and welcome to this week's Titan Tries. This time, uh, we have on the examination block, Silent Scope Complete. Now, this is kind of an interesting um, game that takes me way back. It gets the old nostalgia flowing because... I believe way back when I had the demo of this game on the Dreamcast. Um, now this is Silent Scope Complete, uh, which is actually a collection of four Silent Scope games, whereas I only had the demo of the original game. Now I know the first one was released for obviously the Dreamcast and the PS2, and that was one of the early um, you know, which version is better kind of um, debates between those two systems. From what I remember, the uh, PS2, I think, had like the slightly smoother sort of um, frame rate and slightly different colors, but the Dreamcast had a much sharper image. I also think the loading time was a bit snappier on the PS2. But um, apart from the demo, I never really played it, but it was one that I always wanted to get into. Um, I don't think it's the sort of game that's going to warrant a full playthrough because from what I can understand, the first game, if you know what you're doing, you can burn through it in less than 20 minutes. Now, as for Silent Scope 2, uh, which released in 2000, I never played that one. And then they brought out Silent Scope EX 2001. Never played that one. And then Silent Scope 3 in 2002. Man, they really pumped those out. So these were made by Konami. You know, remember back when Konami made games on the regular, and a lot of them were actually quite good. So... Let's have a read of this blurb here. Silent Scope Complete is a complete, uh, a compilation of the Silent Scope video game series developed by Konami. Released in 2004, it includes all four previous Silent Scope games. Silent Scope, Silent Scope 2, Silent Scope EX, and Silent Scope 3. This collection adds additional levels, story branches, and features to the original games. Interesting. Now, these were, of course, arcade games, and in the arcade you actually had like a proper, well, I say a proper, but you had like one of those massive um, sniper rifle light guns, which I could imagine was probably a hell of a lot of fun back in the day. Don't think I ever actually played this with a light gun, even on the Dreamcast or PS2. I think I only ever used the um, controller. So, bit of trivia here. The player takes on the role of a professional sniper working to thwart various terrorist attacks across different locations. The game rewards accuracy and speed whilst penalizing for harming civilians or failing to complete missions in time. While the arcade versions of Science Scope were praised for their unique sniper rifle peripheral, yes, yes, I do remember seeing pictures of that. Never personally saw it in an arcade, otherwise I definitely would have had a go. This feature was not as impactful in the console version, leading to mixed reviews. The gameplay was noted for being repetitive across the series, with each mission varying only in scenery and motive. I mean, you could say that applies to just about any light game, game really, light gun game I should say. Uh, with the exception of maybe the Resident Evil ones, sort of. So, Silent Scope Complete received average reviews, according to Metacritic, with some reviewers finding it appealing mainly to fans of the core series. Fans of the core series? I wouldn't have thought this game would have been that highly regarded, uh, but who knows, maybe I'm wrong. This compilation offers a comprehensive experience of the Silent Scope series, allowing players to engage in sniper missions with a variety of scenarios and challenges. Okay. All right. Well, let's actually switch up and have a look. I'm playing today with my Retro Fighters Hunter. And let's just have a look at this collection. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> Moving the cursor around on screen with an analog stick already is a oh dear moment. Uh, I think it was probably pertinent to start with Silent Scape 1. Now apparently there's four games in this collection, but I am only seeing three. We are running this on my modded Xbox. 
However, this isn't a ROM dump or whatever. This is actually my copy of the game, which I bought for three pounds years ago. So, three quid. Let's see. Is it worth it? I'm going to say probably. Wow. There's a... <laughs> There's a start screen if I've ever seen one. So let's have a look at what sort of options we've got. So we can change the difficulty. We can change how much life we've got. Branch selection is on, continues. Uh, I don't think we want to really mess with too much here. Sexual content. Wait a minute. I kind of remember. I remember that. I'm sure you can like look down the scope at women in bikinis and stuff. And if I remember correctly, I think that restores your health or something. All right. So toggle scope on and off, shoot. That's interesting. So you can use the black and white buttons for that. Reduce scope speed, increase scope speed. Huh, all right. Okay. Seems to be more options than I thought. Brightness level. Good lord. We'll chuck auto save on just for the lols. Sure. Let's save. Now, I don't know if this edition actually came out for anything else or if it was just for the original Xbox. I've only seen the complete edition for the Xbox, but that doesn't mean anything. Let's hit up arcade mode. Oh, so we've got time attack, and we can choose easy, medium, or hard, or we can go for story, shooting range, indoor, outdoor. All right, let's just, just try the story, I guess. You have selected story mode. <laughs> Not the president. I, my God, I do remember this. Right, so they're the police, or are they the targets? They're the police, surely. No, they're not. Okay, so these guys kind of look like terrorists, but I guess they're not terrorists. I do kind of get the feeling that we're shooting coppers here. I mean, they look like they're seriously heavily armed for terrorists, but hey, what do I know? All right, let's drag our ass over here. Oof, the guy just ruined my accuracy. Not a fan of that. So I don't know who we're supposed to be. Uh, I assume that we were some sort of law enforcement, but I guess it doesn't really get into that sort of thing. Ooh, shot him in the hand. Savage. I think I do remember this, you know. I'm trying to remember if this is the demo. I'll soon know because I do remember the demo ending. Uh-oh. With a, a, no, what was it? Um, a Harrier jump jet, I think, which is bizarre. And I think there's a bikini clad lady back there that we could have had a look at. Oh, hello. Yeah, I can see that. Ooh, no scoped. No scope, bitch. Lovely. You know, this is aight. It's fine. I still can't help shake the feeling that we're shooting SWAT team members. Maybe they've gone rogue. I don't know. How was that in his arm? Or in his hand, I should say. Ah, oh, air battle. Yes, so we actually do get a choice here, which is cool. Air battle is definitely... Yeah, this is the demo that I had on the Dreamcast. This is the one. And there we go, fighting a Harrier jump jet. Because reasons? Weak point is the pilot's head, apparently. Ha. Huh. That's futuristic. So I do remember 
we can just shoot the uh, jet. And if we do that, come on, baby. Oof. Oh, God, we've actually got a serious time limit here. Scorpion Brothers. Oof. Yeah, this is hard. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. You died, apparently. Although we didn't. Right. We're just going to start unloading on this guy. Yeah, trying to get a headshot on this guy. Jeez. Oof, probably. Could have done it then, actually. If we had... If we didn't have to reload. Come on. Come on. Let's... Calm down. I'm actually hitting his plane. I mean, dude. Ooh, that was sneaky. So how do we... Ah, okay. So if we hold down X, we can actually move the cursor whilst we're scoped in a little bit quicker. Oof. Oh, no. That's never going to get old. Oof. And we can actually shoot the missiles down, if I remember, as well. But, oof. Calm down. I'm pretty sure that was a good hit. Oh, we hit the pilot. That calm down is kind of annoying when you're actually hitting the target. Just because we're not getting a perfect headshot doesn't mean... We're not slowly chipping away at this thing. I mean, this is quite a legendary battle. You would have thought of all the ways we could be handling a rogue harrier. A sniper battle <laughs> is not what comes to mind. Come on, we've got a few seconds left. Got him. Oof. Less than a second left. I like that. We've secured the first lady, but we've, like, killed loads of other people, you know, from the Harrier crash. But that's fine. This sounds vaguely familiar. I wonder if this was part of the demo as well. Okay, so we've used our helicopter friends to drop us off into the back of... That's fine. Ooh, hello. Wait, time is up? So, I guess your time doesn't continue. That's interesting. So, at the start of a new level, you don't actually get a reset amount of time. So, I, oof, you know, you could probably get pretty good at this, but I think, to be honest with you, um, it's going to be pretty rough <laughs> on a control pad. Anyway, let's return and try, like, one of the other games. I mean, it seems all right. I don't know how we access the other game. Let's try Sciencecape 2. Let's see how much of an improvement we got in a year. This game certainly isn't pushing the uh, OG Xbox at all, is it? Uh, extra options. So what sort of... Ooh, I guess we can unlock, like, cheats and things. Which is kind of cool. I like it when games do that. So we've got arcade or original. Let's try original. Shooting range, missions, boss battles. Let's just go for missions. Oh. Sure, just give me something. Give me something to shoot. Destroy all enemies within 10 seconds. Oh. <laughs> what? Wait. Ooh, the game moves um, a lot quicker. Okay, so the game moves way quicker than the first one. Let's try that again. Now we have a rough idea of what we're doing. The cursor speed is huge. Wow, okay. Right, you're the gone. Yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> Good luck doing this with a controller is all I can say. We'll have one more go at this. 
I think with a light gun, though, um, there's probably a, a lot of fun to be had here. Right, let's get rid of you. Oh, you dick. I mean, 10 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck trying to get that cursor over that target. Do you know, I wonder if this came out on PC. I'm going to say it probably did. Let's try the shooting range outdoors. <sighs> right. So, one. I don't know if these are all targets. Okay, yeah, we've got a little diagram at the bottom there telling us who to shoot, I guess. We have, um, like, James Bond-looking guy. Oh, we've got the whole mystery gang here. Ooh, throat shot. Got an angry wife. Wait. Don't shoot innocent people. What do you mean? Oh, he's got an explosive. Did the other guy have something else in his hand? She's got a gun. All right. So I guess you've got to be a little bit more... Um, oh, whoops. Cautious of who you're shooting. Oh, man. So it's this, Yeah, he's got a gun. So it's the same model, I guess. Just... Yeah, he's got a drink in his hand. I see. Ah, right, I got you, I got you. Drink, gun. This is more like it. Yeah, that 10 seconds to, um, you know, try and target people is kind of insane. Those guys have drink cans. He's got a briefcase. He's also got a briefcase. He's got a gun. He's got a gun. I see how this is working now. It's, you know, this is an interesting idea. I'd have liked to have had a better go at the single player mode. But, you know, having 10 seconds to <laughs> make your decision is kind of ridiculous if you ask me. Okay, you guys look okay. What about you? Oh, you got a gun. All right. I mean, to be honest, I guess. Ah, so we've got to shoot. So we, we have to shoot her? Oh, right, no. We've got to shoot the actual thing that she's holding. Gotcha. Now, it's very difficult to actually see the targets as well because it's so low um, resolution. You can see just trying to aim over the targets as well is oh it's hard it's hard i think a mouse would be the best way to go about this oof like if this ever came out on pc which i'm sure it might have has she got anything no oh jesus i never would have seen that Literally never would have seen that all the way. Over. I think it was like, he's got a baguette. Watch out, he's dangerous. The French are coming. She's got a gun. You're well blended in over there, but you've got a gun. Oh, hello. Who's moving in from the castle? Oh, she's dead now. I don't think she's armed. She is. Oof, missed. Must have gone between her legs. Ooh. She's gone. Hello, guys. Oh, no. Shot the guy with a baguette. Ugh. Travesty. Riot at the baker's. Now. Moving targets. This is where things get a little bit delicate. Oh, come on. I'm trying not to shoot innocent people. Hey, to be... To be honest, nobody is truly innocent of anything. I am calm. I just have a gun. So I don't need to be calm if I've got a gun, do I? Come on. Oof, he's moving quick. Oh, shit. My bad. Wait, they both had guns. Now that is a domestic that you don't want to get involved with. He's got explosives. 
Damn, this hippie looking motherfucker is getting ready to throw explosives at me. Not really happy with that, to be honest. Uh, she's got her hands up, so I'm guessing she's innocent. Yeah. Where's Mad Max over here? Come on, buddy. There he is. This sack of shit down here. Got him. Oof. So we've got a woman with the time. God damn, trying to hit her. That's going to be... Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Okay, I'm not <laughs> convinced it's realistic with a controller. I mean, it's, 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 it's fun to be had here, but... Uh, I think saying it's suboptimal is what I'm trying to say. Right, she's innocent. She's innocent. She's innocent. She's innocent. Oh, I didn't even see that collection of pixels up here. Right, can we reload? Is there a reload button? No. I guess not. Right, shoot him in the dick. That guy's got a briefcase. Now, here's the thing. We don't know what's in the briefcase. It could be somebody worth shooting. Didn't even see him here either. All right. We've got 10 seconds left. Hurry up. Well, if we turn around a little bit quicker, we'll be all right. Oof. God damn it. Yep. <laughs> no chance. Time is up. You got the best score. I did? Really? Good lord. So the best score, and we, we still got an F. Huh. Yeah, gotta be honest. Um, if I did actually end up with this back in the day, uh, I'd, especially if I bought this at full price, wouldn't have been happy. I, I can say that. Um, I thought there'd be more story to it, you know? Right, let's have a last go at Silent Scope 3. Might be a short video. I mean, I suppose... Ooh. Oh, right. So that's the arcade version, and that's the original version. All right, let's try the arcade version. Game start. Go for story. Have your sniper team surround the site and set up surveillance. Get going. Damn. <laughs> I, I would say the uh, budget looks slightly higher, but I'm not so sure. The criminals are now trying to flee the scene. They have taken hostages and have shut themselves something, something, something. Oh no, we have flicker. Respond. We're in place. Distance, wind direction, wind speed, check. Preparations check. So I now have a sexy spotter, I guess. Target captured. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so visually, oh, we've got like a we've got kind of like an auto aim thing going on here. That makes it way more playable. Yeah, that is making it way more playable. All right, it could be more fun to be had with this one. He's taken hostages. Bring him down with one shot. With one shot, because unfortunately, Ooh, nice. Um, unfortunately, if you're using a controller, you need something to, to balance it out. Hey, we did pretty good. Not bad. Hey, I'm happy with that. I'll take it. This is an emergency operation. Get going. All right, Viper. We have learned details of a plan to commit indiscriminate something. The group members intend to circumvent... Yeah, I'm not even going to bother. Sure. Uh, pursuit by helicopter or pursuit by high-speed... Four wheel drive. Let's go helicopter. You know, for nostalgia. Go into action. Go into action. Pursue and destroy the armed train and attack. Yeah, okay. I can't read that. It's too quick. And not interesting enough. 
I don't know what's going on with this like weird filter over the screen. It's absolutely disgusting. Scan lines. It's just, well, Konami, I guess. All right, so there we go. Ooh, there we go. So as soon as we get close enough to the enemy, yeah, we get that little bit of auto aim, which makes it so much more playable. Dare I say, so much more enjoyable. And it actually works really smoothly. Why this wasn't retroactively introduced um, in this collection to all the other games, I don't know. Especially considering, you know, if you're going to be buying this collection, the overwhelming majority of people are not going to have the controller. Especially in Europe, where I don't even think the controller was sold. At least I don't ever remember seeing it. But then, you know. Maybe it was. I like the way these guys <laughs> have got like one foot outside the track. Uh, but your head is your weak spot, I suppose. How hard is your head, sir? Ooh, look, he's loading this thing up. Ooh. What the fuck? <laughs> nice. Alright, I think the train's going to take off. Oof. This is a news flash. According to information obtained by this station, the terrorist plot was crushed before any harm was done. Alright. Alright. I guess... Oh, I see. So that's how much health we have. And we get a top-up. Gotcha. And set up surveillance. Get going. I think Viper's been on the sniff. He's uh, he can't sit sit still. Look at him. So we can save the VIP hostages, or we can save the hostages from the hijackers. Yeah, poor Viper. Once the information is confirmed, go into action. Go into action. We're certainly gonna be going into something. <laughs> okay. Alright, she's not actually going to tell us anything. She's just going to say check. Got ya. Right, so I'm guessing these guys are actually... What? Didn't miss that one. Oof. Beautiful. This is a hell of a... Jumbo they got going on here. Got your ass, boy. Oof. Straight through the dome. Close enough, I guess. <laughs> you know what? This is actually fun. With one shot. I'll do what I can. Come on. Ooh. Wait, did I just kill the pilot? But nobody cares. I'm pretty sure I just put a round straight through the pilot's dome. But, you know, hey, two for one, right? Okay. All right. I suppose some people are expendable. This is an emergency operation. Get going. It's always an emergency operation. So we can go through the ravine to deceive the enemy. Is that really something a sniper would do? Or take the shortest route as planned. Uh, let's be sneaky sneaky, I guess. Our plans have changed. We will fly through the ravine at a low altitude. Bring the government VIP to the safety of something. Oh, they got little helicopter things. Oh, that's cute. Little gyrocopters. I'm a fan. <laughs> Green light. Oh, jeez. Taking, like, loads of these out at once. All right, lady. It's easy for you to say. Ooh, got some low flyers. My God. Ooh, hello. So we've got to actually shoot them in the rotors. Got ya. 
heli life. Is that my heli or their heli? I mean, luckily, they're very fragile. And you know, you know when you're mad, right? And somebody tells you to calm down and it just makes the situation worse. Yeah. Pretty sure. That's the effect my spotter is having on me. Come on. Come on. Calm down. Yeah. Not helping, love. <laughs> Not helping. At all. Alright. Let's take out some more of these terrorists. Oof. Oh. A hind D. Swatting down some bothersome flies, huh? Uh, why is there a teddy bear? Wait, what? <laughs> what the fuck? I, oh Jesus, I feel like we're playing mercs. Alright, let's try this again. Come on. Let's see that head of yours. Certainly don't want to be shooting the teddy bear. Wait, he rammed me? What do you mean, get back to my post? I was dead at my post. Kind of different. Okay. So that actually still counts as hitting him. Good to know. Ooh. Wait. Did I just shoot the teddy? I'm so confused. Alright. <laughs> okay. I think I've kind of seen enough of this. Um, yeah, let's... Can we? Oh. What the hell is going on here? Okay. Yeah, alright. Well, how about we quit? <laughs> and we try the actual other mode. So this is the original mode. Okay. Yeah, I don't know about that. Sorry to contact you on such short notice, but we have a classified operation on our hands. A terrorist group we've been tracking is smuggling contraband arms out of this port. Those damn terrorists. The operation must take place ASAP, or they will get out to sea. That must be stopped at all costs. <laughs> all right, it's very PlayStation One esque visuals. It, it, oh God, this feels a little bit like. Uh, oh man, this this is more like um, what was it Virtua Cop? I believe that's the kind of vibe I'm getting here. See, this is more what I was hoping for. Some kind of actual story mode. Oh, that was a good shot. That felt satisfying. Nice. Yeah, I like having the opportunity to actually, like, learn the game. You know, when a mission starts off and it gives you ten seconds <laughs> to, you know, get to the next part and you've no idea what's going on. Yeah, it's, it's not. It's not great. It might be good for the arcades, but then the arcades are only really good for one thing, and that's extracting as much money from your pocket as possible. Whereas this actually feels like something you would take home and play. Evening. Ooh, shoot here. Ah, big bad boom. However, I think our secret is up. I think they know we're here. Take out this guy on Overwatch. Yeah, this one definitely feels better than the other two by a huge massive way yeah I wonder if it was like the big explosion that went off that probably gave it away alright ooh hello yeah I see him I see him oof turn around just to be shot in the eye I'm wary ooh hello 
I saw you up there, you little shit. Got ya. Oh, hello. I guess we're not shooting the sexy lady. Gotcha. Yeah, it's hard to say as well, like, when they say behind you, do they actually mean behind you? You know. Because obviously the perspective is all weird. Oh, yeah. Totally sneaking away. These guys are stupid. But that helps us, unfortunately. Or fortunately, I should say. They literally feel like, <laughs> you know, the standard sort of goons that you would imagine an evil terrorist organization would have. They fit the bill. In fact, I'd go a step further. I would say these are some of the more useless ones. Comically useless, in fact. And it's a good thing this game kind of spots them for you, because... Some of them are borderline impossible to see. Ooh, I thought that was going to miss. Come on. Ooh, hello. Damn it. Not happy with that. Ooh. Right, he looked like he was doing a monkey's paw type thing then. Could we? Uh, shoot here. Okay, I guess we're actually sinking this ship. Fine. And we can shoot through the barrier by the look of things. Yeah, that's going to make a mess. Oh, God. Weapon Bazooka Gatling Gun. That doesn't sound good. All these guys have the same weak spot. Well, that doesn't look like a Bazooka Gatling Gun. That just looks like a Bazooka. And these guys... Oh, that's a Gatling Gun. These guys kind of look like rejects from Metal Gear Solid. Not gonna lie. That's the kind of vibe that I'm getting here. Yeah, I'm not sure how the hell you're supposed to target these guys before they actually start shooting you. I mean, with that, it's not too bad. But with the Gatling gun, it like, instantly appears shooting. But it's fine. Ooh. Although, one thing I do like, I like the way you can kill the bosses with one shot. If you can hit them. That's pretty cool. Why do we look like Wesker? To take care of terrorists. There must be some elite military fire teams available. That info is classified, but I'll run down the gist of it. <laughs> the terrorists have abducted Dr. Scott, a top cloning <gasps> researcher that's working on a classified government project. They hope to utilize the cloning technology for some sort of genocide plot. If this became public knowledge, there would be worldwide panic. Hence the need for a covert operation, and thus the need for only select personnel. Which is why the army can't be involved in this one. The need for secrecy and fear of leaks. Uh huh. Which means I'm solo on this one. Just my luck. Pulled out of retirement for a civil servant job. <laughs> You're the only competent sniper available. We'll back you up in this operation. Your primary objective will be to infiltrate and neutralize all terrorist cells. And the secondary objective will be to secure the doctor. The fate of our nation and national security are in your hands. Oh my. May God be with you. Oh dear. Well. Well, well, well. Um. I mean, this one seems alright. So we've, we don't actually have that many levels by the look of things. We've got ironworks, canal, oil rig, dam, research lab, and casino. Um. Yeah, I think the second one was probably the weakest because that literally felt like it was an arcade game. Um, you know, it didn't feel like it had been adapted whatsoever for a under the TV console. Um, the second, uh, the first game's probably fine. You could probably, with a bit of practice, get through that one. 
Uh, and this one actually does feel like, you know, something approximating a console game. I think um, there is definitely some fun with this one. It looks So I'm guessing this is actually a standalone uh, campaign that they've actually made just for the home version, which is cool. And the fact that you've got a auto aim system really helps you because maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm crazy, but I don't think one and two are that playable at all. Not with the controller. This one, yeah. This one, I think you could probably make it all the way through. Uh, that auto aim does a hell of a lot of heavy lifting. There's just no way to be precise at all with an analog stick. I mean, if you've got an old CRT TV, you've got a light gun, and an original Xbox, this is probably a really good fun time. If you're stuck with a controller like me, I don't know. I think this is the sort of game that's just going to stay on the shelf. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.